Um, so what I have here um, are two empty graduated cylinders, or 100 milliliter ones, and I'm going to fill each one of them halfway about with uh, some water. Now, um, what I have here is a compound called cyclohexane. Now, just to show what the compound is, it's a C6H12. So, what it is, it actually is a ring of carbons. So we have a six-member ring here. Now the question for the audience, being my students, um, is this compound polar or nonpolar and why? Well, if something is polar, what would be, like we were just talking about it before with uh, ethanol and methanol. What, now what does ethanol have at the end? OH. OH group, right. So if this had some oxygen present, or OH groups, that makes this pretty polar, so thus this has to be polar. Oh, Nonpolar, right? So it's all carbons and hydrogens. All right. So that means that in these graduated cylinders that I have here, if I pour some cyclohexane in there, it should not mix. So let's see what happens here. All right. So we have two layers here. Um, you can see there's one here. Let me put it down low so the camera can pick it up. And there's one here. So the cyclohexane actually is on top. And just as a side note, there's a reason why the cyclohexane is on top and the water is on the bottom. Does anyone know why the cyclohexane is on top? Yeah, actually. Less, less dense, that's right. So that's, that's okay for that. Let me put it also in this one. So, all right, so we have those two ideas. So we know that, of course, the two of these are both the same. We have cyclohexane on the top and the water on the bottom. Now, I'm going to, and that's fine in a sense, just alone, but I have something else to add to this here. Well, to the one graduated cylinder, I'm going to add some iodine crystals. In other words, we have our, let's erase this here. We have our graduated cylinder, and we have the water here, and we have the C6H12 there, again, the same idea for the other one. It's a horrible drawing there, but that's the way it is there. Now, let's say to this one here, I add iodine. Now, iodine is I2. Now, question, what type of compound is I2? Meaning, is it polar or nonpolar? Nonpolar. Nonpolar. Okay, so where should it be? Let me throw it in there. Which layer? C6H12. Okay, so let's see what happens. Now, what might happen is, in, well, we'll see what happens. We'll do it now. I was going to say what I want. I'm just going to get a few crystals here. I'm get a million of them. All right, so I'm going to add it. Now, a little bit of it's going to fall to the bottom just due to the weight, but we can see you got this kind of purplish looking layer. I can add a little bit more. If I actually mix this, it would work a little better. But So we get this kind of purple layer. Notice how the iron's coming back up a little bit. So we have our purple layer. Guess what? That's where it should be pink layer, purple, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so there it goes, that's where it should be. Now the next thing I have is um, I have some copper sulfate, CuSO4. Now, 
question is, what type of compound is that? Do you have a choice between polar, ionic, and nonpolar? Those are your three choices. It's an ionic compound, remember? Because remember, if you have an ionic compound, you have a metal, and you have the metal here, and you have a non. All right, so it's an ionic compound. So where should it go? So again, we have our nonpolar species here, and uh, let's see what happens with the uh, copper sulfate. We know copper sulfate is a nice, pretty blue compound. It's often used to uh, make crystals. So now again. A little bit floating here. We're going to put a little bit more in so we can see it. Again, some may stick to the side just due to adhesive forces, but you notice that you have the blue layer back here. And this gives you the white background, a little easier to see it. So there's our blue layer in the bottom where the water is, and then our pink layer at the top. So again, it goes where it should. Again, the likes is all likes idea. Copper sulfate down where the water should be. 